Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Friday and welcome to Wicko 303. Today we're talking about how magical habits are good. Now, it is unfortunate, but some people have been drawn into the idea that anything routine is boring and something that you ought to escape from as quickly as possible. And this has led to some people promoting an undisciplined approach to the craft. And I use the word undisciplined because what's being promoted is a lack of healthy habits. It has nothing to do with formality or informality or simplicity or complexity. I specifically refer to the lack of good habits. I mean, what would happen if, to your household if you were not in the habit of cleaning, cooking, and doing the laundry? How long could that go on before your entire life was thrown into complete and destructive chaos? What would happen if your job, if the mundane, routine tasks that are associated with that job just weren't taken care of? What would happen to your relationships if you stopped paying attention to the people you care about and you never interacted with them? In each of these examples, the results would not be good. So it would seem that the principle is consistent and therefore we can extrapolate that failing to form magical habits would also have a most undesirable result. Now, everyday life affords us uh, many opportunities to weave small bits of magic in a conscious way. And just as we're better off attending to, you know, the bulk of the housework on a weekly basis, we're also better off if we also practice our magic regularly. Anything we deal with on a weekly or a daily basis is something that requires constant nurturing, not necessarily big, grand gestures, but, you know, little daily efforts to, to ensure that all is well. And when you add on layer upon layer of intention, uh, protection uh, magic, for example, all of those layers build up into something stronger and more resilient than if you just did one large big ritual. It's also true that practice makes better. And making small magical moves builds your confidence and helps you figure out you know, how you like to work. And by staying more consciously aware of the natural ebb and flow of magic in your daily life, you begin to have a better idea of when you need to step in and take action and when you need to step back and just leave well enough alone and allow the natural process to unfold uh, without any interference from you. Uh, seasonal celebrations are also the basis uh, for the vast majority, uh, you know, perhaps even all pagan holy days, and they are the highlights throughout the year. Observing these occasions aren't a daily focus, but it is good to form the habit of marking these days of seasons. It helps you stay connected to the rhythms of nature. And yes, uh, whatever it is you are celebrating, that should absolutely be a consistent part of your yearly routine. No two holidays will ever be exactly alike, and what it means for your region of the world will be different than what it does in other regions and some things will resonate more strongly with you than others and that will evolve and change over time as your own circumstances do. What remains consistent is the full meaning of the holy day itself and the reason why we have periodic celebrations throughout the year. Life is more than work and holy days are opportunities to step back and observe what has been achieved and to reflect. They can be pivot points for us, a chance to rest and to enjoy the good things in our lives and to take a break from the daily grind. The point is that our daily practice should truly be daily and pagan holy days are important to observe. It's all part of the path we walk and being in the habit of actually walking it, and that is what makes us stronger and wiser. So for our homework for September 22nd through September 28th, number one, be honest with yourself. Do you have magical or spiritual habits? If so, what are they and uh, do these routines serve you well? If not, what's preventing you? Number two, how do you feel about habits in general and journal about this? And number three, uh, what habit or habits for your spiritual or magical practice do you think would benefit you? So that's what we've got for this week. Uh, next week, uh, we will be doing uh, some seasonal witch keeping. In the meantime, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, leave them for me in the comments section below. Or uh, come see me at Blackbirds Brew on Gilded. Uh, link in the description box and we can have more of a conversation there if you would like. Uh, but that will do it for now and I will see you next time. Bye.